Ready for the letter B, huh? <laughs> well, you skipped B and went right to C. <laughs> Yeah, I heard it. The cat. Cold. Cold. Fun. Yeah! Huh? Take it, that's your favorite. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I am. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. She'll be here soon. Mommy here coming. Hmm. By the way, I don't know what he did with the remote. How did he even get You said the floor is lava. You're you're dancing in the lava, boy. You're supposed to climb up on stuff. Now he's gonna be able to change the TV. He stayed losing stuff. Hey baby. What you do with the remote? Go get it. The floor is lava. Why are you jet? Yeah, you're burning up. Get up here. <laughs> Get up here. Don't stay in the lava. Ow, oh, he's gone. <laughs> you know, JJ. Gonna get in trouble. Might not want to do that. You gonna get me in trouble because your mom gonna see the laundry everywhere and then she's gonna fuss at both of us. We might not want to see that's the clean clothes. Don't do that. Go clean the dirty clothes. And then when you're done with that, we'll just put it right in the you know washing machine, and then we won't have to worry about you getting in trouble. Meantime, let's, you know, put this back the way it goes, which will be easier if it didn't have stuff under it. JJ. <laughs> mm. You're supposed to be taking a nap, kid. <laughs> Ouch. Now you're climbing on me. Yay. <laughs> Okay, now can we put this back up? Can we ah, ah, ah. Can we put everything back the way we found it so we don't get in trouble? No, don't do that. You might break. No. That goes to your mommy's outfit. Don't do that. Let go. JJ, let go. Thank you. You're going to get in trouble. Uh-uh. Okay. We're going to fix this before your mom see it, right? Mommy comes home. When mom comes home, she don't want to see her laundry everywhere. So we're going to fix that, right? Mommy, We're going to fix that, right? Mommy, do. Mommy going to fuss at you. Mommy, do. We're going to pick this up. <laughs> okay. People of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere or on the Internet. My soaps located at Purple Butterfly. Dash soaps dot my Shopify dot com, my blog, purple butterfly, dash people dot blogspot dot com. And that was the last JC Young's Corner video. At least for now. 
Let me give you the backstory, okay? Remember the birthday video where JCon decided to hit me with a plastic shopping cart and I told him, that's it, that's the last time you're going to hit me with that? I took it from him, I put it up where he couldn't reach. His mom, on the other hand, not seeing what's actually on the video, she could watch the video, just like you can watch the video, she assumed that meant I was hitting him and said, don't hit the baby. I said, I'm not hitting him. He's hitting me. Then she immediately says, then you should have gave him a spanking. Contradiction. <laughs> now, if you've noticed in other videos, he likes to sit in my laundry basket and play in the laundry. Throw clothes everywhere. I just put the stuff back up and continue on with life. He was um, at his house, I was at his house, babysitting because, well, she took a job and basically at the crack of morning, they, you know, against her schedule said, hey, we need you to come in for a shift. She was not expecting that, so she called me, can you watch the baby? Sure, no problem. Well... Because of the fact that she didn't believe me when I said I wasn't hitting him, she said, don't hit the baby. Where'd that come from? Okay, no problem. In other words, don't give him a spanking when he misbehaves. He always plays in the laundry. Usually, I put the clothes in the laundry back up the way it's supposed to be before she gets home. She came home early. She saw him playing in the laundry. She yells at me, how can you then spank him? Okay, let's break that down. If I spank somebody, when you say, don't spank them, you can legally charge me with abusing your child. I don't spank him anyway. I'll tell him, you know, go over there and I'll do something to distract him, you know, or isn't it time for you to take a nap? Or, hey, sit in your playpen for two minutes because he's two years old. or well, he's three now. But basically, a timeout is one minute per eight. So, say for as you have a five-year-old child, a timeout is five minutes. He was two. So, to make him sit still for two minutes is a standard timeout. That's is you know, much of a disciplined thing as I'm going to do. If he hits me, I might grab his hand and say, don't do that. And, you know, give him a hug, try to talk to him, or time out. But I'm not going to go boom, boom, boom on anybody's child. I didn't do that with my own children. <laughs> Duh. But my kids, all three of them, no police records, they're all... Christian, they got baptized. There was no major issues in my house. Not because they didn't try little shenanigans, but because discipline was in place. When I said no, I meant no. You're going to do a timeout. You're going to do writings. He can't write yet. So that's not a feasible, you know, punishment. Or they're going to do chores. Well, giving Jay-Z on chores, that won't work. He likes cleaning stuff. <laughs> I look up, he grabs a broom and just starts sweeping. So, okay, you go over there and sit still for two minutes. Okay, so in the meantime, he was playing in the laundry. I thought it was funny, so I took a video of it. I sent the video to my daughter because basically, you know, How's the baby? What's he doing? I'll send the video. He's doing that. Apparently, that was such an egregious thing that he played in the laundry that she came home from work. Or she was already on her way home from work. Either way, she yells at me, basically told me, get out of her house in a fit of anger, so forth and so on. She tried to call me a couple hours later, but I wasn't answering the phone. I haven't answered the phone in a month. I do miss the grandbaby, but... If someone is going to accuse you of hitting the kid or saying stuff like, don't hit the baby, I'm not going to be alone with said baby so they can say something that can put me in legal jeopardy. 
That's not my personality. That's not what I've ever done. But yeah, there is that. So yeah, she hasn't apologized. In fact, because of her personality and she has a strong personality, she probably don't think she did anything wrong. You know, the fact that she hurt my feelings and accused me of something, in her brain, she didn't do anything wrong. So, yeah, she's been talking about going to Georgia permanently full time since before this happened. So basically, my brain was like, okay, I have to get used to the fact that the baby's not going to be around. So, yeah. I got videos. I got memories. I am going to live life on the basis of she and the baby have left my life. Okay, fine. I can deal with that. If they come back, fine. But there's going to be a caveat. If she lets me see the baby, she gets to sit right over there and watch me with the baby. That way she can't accuse me of not a zip, zero, nothing. Because, no, that's just, mm -mm. Do you know how hurtful that is to tell somebody, oh, you spanked my baby? No evidence, no nothing, just make an assumption. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. No, that hurt my little raggedy feelings, but we won't go there. Enjoy the last JC Yon's Corner because I'm not going to record him anymore. I'm not going to hang out with him anymore, apparently. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to go on with my life being me. I've had a couple of medical scares this last month, which is part of the reasons why when she said, get out my house I left and when she called I went radio silence because I'm not gonna tell anybody anything unless there's something to tell them and that gave me the perfect excuse not to talk to her about the medical issue well I just got clearance from the medical issue there's not going to be any surgery needed or any follow-up which means surgery because the issue is benign, which means it's not cancerous. So whatever's going on in there can stay going on in there. As long as it's a benign thing, we good. Anyway, you are now up to date. This has been People of 7 on Twitter and YouTube. People are elsewhere on the internet. My social located at Purple Butterfly dash soaps dot my shopify dot com my blog purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com that was jc Young's corner i'm people of seven y'all have a blessed and wonderful day bye now